Now, this was the first popcorn machine that I bought for the party rental business, alongside with this cotton candy machine. Then I found this bigger one on Facebook Marketplace. And as you can see, uh, we have a second big one. Uh, we ended up adding some hot dog machines and a snow cone maker. And when I first bought these, I thought I was just going to put them on Facebook Marketplace and it would start renting out immediately. Boy, was I wrong. Uh, we didn't end up making money for about a month or two until I changed up one thing. I'm going to get into that a little bit later. Now, renting out concessions can be very profitable. Uh, you can rent them out to schools. You can rent them out to private parties. So there's always a market for it, right? You can completely niche down and say, listen, I'm just going to rent these out to schools. Or you can say, hey, you know, we'll do corporate, we'll do schools, we'll do private events, uh, pretty much everything. Now, the type of customer that you'll get is going to depend on where you market it. For instance, uh, let's say you put this on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, you're going to attract a lot of private parties. Uh, you're going to get a lot of birthdays, a lot of graduations and stuff like that. But whenever we make an ad on Google, we get a lot of schools reaching out and some corporate events. Now, all of this can be achieved with taking nice pictures, uh, making it look a certain way, giving a certain aesthetic. So like I said, this was the first one that we had bought and uh, we got it off Amazon. We still rent it out till today. Uh, it goes very well. Like I said, we have two more that we added on just because we get so many inquiries for popcorn machines and cotton candy machines. So what we like to do is we like to pre-order stuff just for like the last minute bookings or whatever. However, whenever we get an order in, we'll do the math on how much it costs. We'll add that to the price. And then the customer pays for the materials up front. Here's our snow cone stuff. We have some small generators, uh, electric generators that you can rent as well. This will run the machine for a couple of hours, just in case they're at a park where they don't have any outlets. And that's an upsell as well, right? This is what the popcorn looks like. One, one of these bags will fill eight bags. So there's eight servings in one eight ounce bag. These are the different flavors for the snow cone machine. And then here we have a sealer. What we'll do with this, we'll take like the popcorn bags and uh, we'll take the cotton candy cones. We'll put them into bags, we'll count them. Like this is a count of 50. And then whenever we deliver it, the customer can see how it's sealed and everything's uh, taken care of and well maintained. Now what I like about the concession tool is they're very small items to move. So you don't have to have a big truck or a big van uh, to do this business, right? You can start off just renting out concessions. You get yourself the popcorn machine, you get yourself the cotton candy machine, and that's a small business right there in itself. If you spend, let's say $500 uh, to start this business, within the first 10 times of you renting it out, you're gonna make your money back and you're gonna start earning money. Right? So the way we price the cotton candy machine is we'll, we'll do $60 for the cotton candy machine and $60 for the popcorn machine. If you wanna get a package of both of them together, uh, you know, you'll save about $20. When I first bought the machines, it took about eight rentals and everything was completely paid off and we started making profit from there on. Now you might say, oh, eight rentals, that's a lot. It's really not. If you think about it, um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is usually your busiest time. Uh, you can rent it out Friday, Saturday and Sunday, which during the summer times, this, that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll have a order for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, sometimes even uh, Wednesday and Thursday. So think about it, that's three in one week. So you have uh, three weeks, that's 369. You'll have the whole thing paid off and you're already profiting off of it. Uh, we'll do a $30 delivery charge. Uh, it takes us about 20 minutes to set up. Then we'll come back at nighttime or the next day, pick it up and you know. Now what I did is I created a list on Amazon where I keep all of my items that we, uh, that we buy for rentals. So here you see the popcorn machine, the popcorn, uh, the cotton candy machine, the um, floss for the cotton candy, the cotton candy cones, right? And I like to update this list a lot because I want to have the best price as possible so that whenever I order these, you know, I have the lowest prices in here. Now, we'll give the customers two options. They can either order this stuff themselves, right? They can go to Amazon and order the stuff or they can go to us. Uh, nine out of 10 times they'll order through us just because of convenience, right? They're right there anyways, uh, might as well order through us, but we do charge a little bit extra. 
Uh, we'll mark up some of the stuff, maybe five or ten dollars, uh, just because of convenience, right? We have to order the stuff. We have to hop online, take a time to order this stuff and get it in, right? Now, before you go and post your stuff on Facebook Marketplace, you want to hop on it first and just do a quick search. Uh, search for Cotton Candy Rentals. You'll see in your area, there's probably five or six other people that are doing the same thing. And if you look at all of this right here, uh, it's, it looks very noisy. So you're going to have to find a way to stand out, right? You're going to have to find a pattern interruption. Uh, this kind of stands out right here because it interrupts the pattern of all of these pictures. One tip that I can give you is don't just post pictures like this. These are stock photos. These stock images, although it says here, uh, rental cotton candy machine, uh, they don't look trustworthy, right? To me, they don't look trustworthy because anybody can just hop online, uh, take a picture from Google and post it on Facebook Marketplace, right? So what you want to do is you want to take some good pictures. You want to probably set up your machine like uh, this looks pretty decent over here. Um, but what I would suggest is go outside and set it up. Uh, let the people know what it would look like. Like this is nice right here. Uh, although this is not the cotton candy uh, machine, this is a candy cart. Uh, but they took time. Maybe this is a, at an event or something, but they set everything up, made it look nice. And this is something the person will click on and trust it. Now, whenever I post these online, I post something like this. Uh, you can see the table set up. I uh, put some games in the corner right here. So a lot of times people will ask, hey, listen, you have games too. Uh, so that's another upsell. Uh, but you can see here the um, basketball the cotton candy machine the popcorn machine usually what we'll do is we'll just rent out the popcorn uh the cotton candy machine itself but for an upsell extra uh 30 bucks you can have the cart cart with it so some people like the like the look of the cart you know just because it fits their theme or whatever uh we rent it out i don't want to i want to say we don't rent it out too much but it goes out uh a decent amount of time and then if you look at the uh and then if you look at the popcorn machine, we'll put these little buckets in here so that you can see just a little size comparing comparison what a serving looks like. So let me ask you this. Since you do all the orders for the customers and stuff, what do you think is the most important questions to ask? And what do you think is some what are the, some of the important things to look out for when we're doing the uh, concession orders? Um, it's just where it's at, how many people, what is it for, the type of event. That way we can determine how much uh, supplies they need uh, for the air event. So you would suggest actually opening a package, trying it out, seeing what um, what what one cart of the cotton candy gets you. Popcorn. What the popcorn gets you, right? We figured out that uh, an eight ounce bag gives you about eight servings, right? So eight one ounce bags. So uh, you can give um, eight servings with one of the popcorn one bags, eight ounce right? bag yeah yeah so why don't you let the customers clean the equipment um i want to well for for us i want to make sure that it's being cleaned properly um and also i don't want them to use the wrong product how long do you think how long would you say does it take to uh clean the cotton candy machine and the popcorn machine um the cotton candy if you do it as soon as you i mean or whenever you do it if you just do it from start to finish i'd say 10 minutes 10 15 minutes you know you clean it you dry it you wrap it um from start to finish um and the popcorn machine the popcorn machine i take a little bit longer just because i get in the crevices where the butter i would say maybe 20 30 minutes tops maybe yeah. that might be excessive but when i clean it i know that i just i'm a little bit more in depth with taking cutes you know or just like brushes to make sure that the kernels and the butter and getting behind all the crevices and then, you know, you wrap it, dry it and get it ready for the next event. And when you say wrap it, what do you mean? Uh, so we saran wrap it. Um, that way it doesn't collect dust. Um, and that way it's clean. It doesn't get dirty. And it, and it shows the customer that, you know, this is clean. It's, it hasn't been used and it, depending on where you store it, it helps having it wrapped because you don't want, you know, the, you never know how long it's going to take for you to rent it the next time. So you don't want any dust to collect. My advice for starting a concession business would be don't be afraid. Just go for it. You know, like if there's something that sticks to you and you want to do the popcorn and cotton candy or anything, whether the ice machine, the snow cone machine, the hot dog machine, you know, any kind of concession machine, just go for it. But before you 
jump anything, jump into anything or purchase anything, just look into it. Look to see what it entails with supplies and give yourself an idea to make sure that you also have stock. Um, you know, in case you get a last minute booking, you don't want to just wait till you get something booked and then order the supplies. You want to make sure you have the supplies on hand. One thing that can go wrong with renting out concessions, it can break. Once we receive the equipment, you know, from a, from renting it out, we try it out to make sure that it's in, that it's in work, that it's working before we clean it. And then once we take it to the customer, um, we also make sure that it's up and running. So the cotton candy, we demonstrate it to the customer um, to ensure that they know how to use it. If you don't control if it breaks, that's just something that can happen. We actually had uh, an instance where we delivered the cotton candy and uh, the lady was like a good hour and 20 minutes away, delivered the cotton candy. I was like, you know, hey, do you want me to demonstrate it for you? And she's like, no, no, it's okay. And she didn't want me to do it. So I was like, all right, well, it was for a baby shower. So we leave and I'm actually heading to a photo booth event and she's calling me, telling me the cotton candy is not working. And I'm like, uh, okay, but it was working yesterday. I was like, I don't know, are you sure? You know, and her husband's trying to see if he can figure it out. Well, the husband um, ends up finding out that the wires just kind of like blew up. It just, and I was like, that's something you don't control. It worked the night before because we, we tried it, we cleaned it and we prepped it for the next day. So those things do happen. And those are things that you can't control. Um, what we do now, that was a perfect example, a learning experience for us. Um, we have backups. We order the motors, the parts for those kind candies. So that way, if ever that happens, we can just go there, replace it. It takes maybe 10, 20 minutes to replace it. If that, I don't even think that long. And, you know, it's an easy fix. Here's another tip that I can give you. I created these stickers. These stickers have a QR code that if you scan, it links to a video that I created, which demonstrates popcorn machines, cotton candy machines, uh, the hot dog machine. And what that does, this will avoid the customer having to call you during an event because they can't figure out the machine, how it works. Sometimes you go to an event and you'll set it up and you show the, and they're not really paying attention. They're like, yeah, 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 yeah. They're just trying to get you, you know, trying to uh, get back to their event or setting up their event. And then they miss some information here. This one also has instructions on here, but this is great. Like I said, this brings them right to a YouTube video, which explains it in less than one minute on how to use these machines. Now having these videos doesn't only make sure that the customer doesn't have to call you, but it also ensures that they use it the right way so that they, they'll be, uh, that they'll take your equipment and they'll use it in the way that it's supposed to be used so that you don't have to worry about having to replace anything or telling the customer like, hey, you broke this, now you have to replace it. Uh, saves a bunch of headaches.